Since at least the 10th century, there had been a tradition in rural regions of China of martial arts societies. Many villagers, especially young male villagers, would practice martial arts for self-defense in case bandits tried to loot the village. Except now, they had an enemy who they felt was looting their very culture. And you see these martial arts societies banding together, growing in power. They feel that their suffering is all because of the arrival of Westerners. If there's no Westerners, then their life will return to normal. The violence escalates. The Qing dynasty backs the boxes and suddenly tens of thousands of people, Chinese and foreign, are killed. This is why the British and other forces are called into China. Only they face something there, unfamiliar. How is it that this conflict gets the name Boxer Rebellion? Actually, the Chinese name is not Boxer. The Chinese name is Righteous Harmony. It's a Righteous Harmony Fist. That's the fist. So in Chinese... Oh, right, OK, yeah, yes. Fist. So they went straight from the word fist to Boxer. Yeah, yeah, that's the fist. Right, OK. And to be a member of this Righteous and Harmonious Fist group had an almost spiritual quality to it. So there are two parts. Um, one is physical training. It's this martial arts training. Another part is this ritual. They believe that the ancestors and the gods and the angels will help them. And so the knife or the bullet won't hit them. They will become bulletproof. And then by doing so, you will be able to defeat the foreigners. After years of exploitation by imperial powers, this civilian martial arts force, believing themselves to be invulnerable to foreign weapons, came face to face with an alliance of eight national forces. This might seem like an obvious question, but what happens when warriors who believe that they're bulletproof come up against guns? It's a massacre. <laughs> There's no way they can win. The Chinese fighters were defeated, and the ruling Qing Empire, who supported them, they capitulate to the foreign powers with horrific results. The Qing government, the obligation is to arrest and execute all the boxers publicly. And that's the end to that. 